Now use, let's go riding. Yes, let's go. Okay, so. So, hi Adam. How, how does it came you turn up with a new project like the new LMX 54? It's like a whole new project. How did you came up with this one? Yeah, actually it's a, it's a bit the same concept that the 81. It's just a, it's just a lighter version of the LMX 81. Uh, with a more standard battery, but it's all the same drivetrain and such. So, so you integrated your uh, your uh, freewheel. So you uh, took the same freewheel as you took on the 81. Yes, your own developed freewheel. Yeah, it's exactly the, the same system, but uh, the frame is different. We try to improve the geometry. But uh, also it's a uh, lower uh, travel, the, uh, the suspension travel is lower. It's only 150 millimeters? Yeah, that's so right. It's more like an enduro pedelec yeah. with some more power uh, in the back? Yeah, yeah, so right now it's running with only uh, 300 watts, so it's quite weak compared to this bike which is running maybe 3000. Uh, but uh, it's really uh, it's running the same engine, just a different controller, different battery also. So, uh, what would be the maximum of power you could uh, deliver out of the 54? This one is really depending on the integrated controller to the battery, and uh, also, uh, yeah, depends on the battery itself. Uh, is it capable to sustain high power? But the goal with this uh, this bike is to reach. Uh, uh, 2000 watts uh, peak and maybe 1200 watts continuous. Uh, it's really made for the speed pedelec and also using this, uh, this very uh, special drivetrain that we developed. So maybe you want to make homologation in the future for this bike also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it will be homologated like a speed pedelec, so L1EB, uh, so 45 kilometers an hour and uh, and you know with lights and so on and everything. Uh, so right now the bike is uh, 24, about 24 kilograms, uh, but with every homologation feature it will be heavier for sure. So, so I could push it uh, to up to 2000 watt peak power if I would just buy the frame and the drivetrain and yeah. put on my own display yeah. and yeah. Uh, gas yeah, you and would, the battery. Yeah, you would need to, to have the right controller and, and, uh, and also find a way to, to control the, the power from the pass uh, very uh, precise because if you have 2000 watts with a bad control, it's, it's not going to work out, especially for the off-road. So today we are going uh, so we're switching both bikes, both me and Marius. Uh, so Marius, you already tried the 81, but in the past with lower power. Yes, and I test now with uh, high power, I think 3000 watt yeah. peak. And uh, it's like riding almost like the LMX 2.3. It's almost the same uh, power deliver, delivery. And uh, I think it's only a matter of a little bit smaller battery yeah and the design is all different so and it's a little bit more stealth compared to the LMX 2.3 because it has a possibility of pedaling along yeah but I never fly the drone so it will fly auto we just not need to find the right track when there is not so much risk and then you would fly auto oh yes <laughs> 